Madam President, esteemed guests, good afternoon. Sanbonani, Habarizenu, Boa tarde, bonjour. And for our Zambian colleagues, Muribuanji. I'm going to speak very quickly, mindful of the time. I don't want to stand between yourselves and lunch. I'm going to speak briefly on um, Vustalpina railway systems. Vustalpina AG is recognized as a global leader for railway infrastructure solutions. We are listed on the Austrian Stock Exchange. We have four divisions, metal engineering, steel, high performance metals, and metal forming. We operate in 50 countries across five continents and employ over 50,000 people. We've had a presence in South Africa for over 25 years, having initially invested in South Africa on the 1st of October, 1997. Our South African operation falls within the railway systems business unit of the metal engineering business division and is also recognized as a market leader in all five segments, turnout and fixation, turnouts, fixations, rail, signaling, and track solutions. In the context of fixations, this is one of our newer divisions wherein we recently acquired a Polish fixations company um, in, the last, in the last few months, and it speaks to our vertical integration strategy. In terms of our rail business, we supply over a one, we, manu, we roll and manufacture, sub, sell and supply over 100 profiles of rail. And I shall speak briefly to the signaling, digitization, and track solutions elements. In terms of the ownership structure of VAE in South Africa, prior to the 1st of October 2021, VAE was owned by Vistalpina AG, the group the Austrian listed group, and with effect from the 1st of October 2021, Mirai Rail Corporation acquired a controlling interest in uh, VAE South Africa. This makes us a BE level two a contributor. It also uh, uh, means that we're 51% black women owned and managed. And additionally, we are optimally structured in that we continue to enjoy operational, technical, and management support from the Selpina AG um, where required. That said, it brings world-class technology, best-in-class operations, together with our, our ability to immediately uh, dispatch uh, components where required, and we are able to provide after-sales support on a real-time basis. Just in terms of our products, or rather before I get to our products, I think what is important from a VAE South Africa point of view is our vision. And that vision is to contribute meaningfully to the social economic development of sub-Saharan Africa by providing system solutions for track that ensure and secure future mobility in a safe, effective, and efficient manner. In the context of the, uh, our products, we manufacture turnouts in South Africa. We uh, assemble and uh, supply signaling equipment. We provide um, track solutions. Just briefly, insofar as turnouts are concerned, we have a long-standing presence in the market. We manufacture and supply the vast majority of all the turnouts and uh, uh, turnout sleepers turnouts that have been used in the South African market. Um, we predominantly supply 48 and 60 kg turnouts for, youth, for use on both uh, Cape and standard gauge um, rails. We have an extensive library of turnout designs which we've supplied into the southern sub-Saharan African region. And these are supplied on wood, concrete, and steel sleepers. Insofar as signaling is concerned, we assemble and supply a variety of signaling components, essentially condition monitoring signaling equipment. We also develop digital track management solutions and services for both rolling stock and infrastructure assets, which speaks to um, the next session which we have uh, sponsored, or this session that we've sponsored. Insofar as our track solutions are concerned, 
Uh, we provide logistics and uh, we do turnout grinding, turnout services, but I think the two which are important to mention is the fact that we have a significant welding facility uh, which is situated in Kimberley uh, as flash butt welding and in addition to that we have we're moving uh, more and more towards maintenance services as well. And in this regard, we have, in, we have a milling machine which is used um, for, for milling turnouts, um, as opposed to grinding them for various reasons. Uh, and um, lastly, we have, a, we have tilt wagons that are located at our, milling, at our welding facility in Kimberley, uh, which, which are designed to enable us to simply supply fully constructed turnout sets uh, so that the, uh, the, the, the time that it takes to install these turnout sets is, is, is drastically reduced. We also supply rails, and I've just put up uh, briefly for, 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 for you to see um, the various uh, uses that we, uh, that we have for the, 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 for the various rail profiles that we have for use on the different types of rail networks, mixed traffic, heavy haul, metro, and tram. Um, we pride ourselves in the fact that we offer over 100 rail profiles, and ultimately the objective of this is to ensure that we optimize life cycles. And again, 95% of the rails that are supplied to Transnet and Prasa in South Africa have been supplied um, in, 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 different, uh, in different ways um, uh, by our company. In terms of our production sites, uh, we have a turnout facility here in Isando. It is 37,000 square meters under roof. Uh, it has a both a production and an assembly facility. It is the only turnout manufacturer in South, which is located and functions in Africa. Uh, we manufacture broad gauge turnouts, as I mentioned, as well as narrow gauge ones for mining and surface and, uh, mine and underground turnouts. Uh, we also produce uh, components, which include chairs. Uh, we assemble and service signaling systems, as I mentioned earlier, and we assemble um, complete turnouts. Uh, our, Kim our welding facility in Kimberley is the only stationary flash weld welding facility of its scale on the continent. Uh, we, ha we also um, are able to store and handle short rails, um, store unwelded rails, um, and the facility itself is um, uh, the facility itself is which is located in Kimberley uh, uh, can weld up to 240 meter lengths. Just to conclude, I thought that it would make sense for us in the absence of our ability to get our video to work. The video I was going to show was on condition monitoring. I thought it, was, it would be interesting for me to just talk very briefly about one of our most recent success stories, which is the story of um, our involvement in, in, in Egypt. Insofar as Egypt is concerned, the, the Egyptian National Railways has been very keen and continues to be keen in terms of its strategic focus on the establishing of a local railway, uh, railway industry given the near explosion of urbanization. In that regard, um, they approached us on the basis of the fact that we, we are a technology provider and we recently entered into a, a, a joint venture with them to set up a, their first uh, turnout F uh, manufacturing facility which will enable us uh, to manufacture alongside them over 6,000 uh, turnout sets per annum uh, going into the future and it will enable us to also ensure that we assist them in the maintenance of, um, of those turnouts. Uh, we will also be supplying them with the uh, uh, digital track maintenance uh, um, components and technology. And, and lastly, of course, we'll be supplying them, supplying them with rail. Uh, 